we've covered a lot of the camera and equipment around the productions, but I wanted to talk a little bit in this episode about how we record a YouTube video in terms of the outlining and the planning and the pipeline and the actual work uh, at the keyboard and preparing, and then what I put up on the screen while I'm delivering it. So let's dive into this. And then at the end of this, I have a little over the shoulder time lapse while I actually record the video and deliver it. So you can see it in motion once I show you how I actually go about doing a video like a YouTube video. So we're looking at the most recent one, which is a really long one. It's the longest one I've ever done, but I wanted this masterclass on Notion automation. So it's all 10 types of Notion automations, all in one video, one by one with examples, real life use cases in a life system using Notion. But it was a lot of planning to create such a thorough and detailed video. So here's how we did it. So this is my content pipeline. And you'll see I get to the writing phase and I get to the recording phase. Even before that, I've got some rough ideas that I'm sketching out for series. I've got my next up and then the ones that are in research stage right now, either for me or team members doing research. I've got the ones that I'm writing and drafting. Usually writing means outlining, just getting it ready in the form such as what I'm about to show you today. And then when it gets ready to record, it goes into the to record column after that. If there's any assembly of parts, if there's any creation of motion graphics or pulling pieces together, pulling images that would be B-roll together, that comes together here. That's often done by a team member, certain types of editing, and then my review, if there are other types of editing, particularly more elaborate ones with B-roll and motion graphics, and then we get to posting. But let's dive into the one that we're working on right now, and that will be out very soon, probably released about the same time as this behind the scenes video. I will open this up. This is my template for creating YouTube videos. I have templates for a lot of different types of videos, but this is the YouTube video one, which is probably the most complex one, either the YouTube video or the newsletter one. Those are the two most complex. So what we've got here is you'll see we've got format status that we can organize and have filtered views for different types of content. Perhaps of note, we've got parent content and spinoff content. So if this is going to lead to a lot of shorts or written content, that'll be connected here. And increasingly my videos are doing that. They're going on to Twitter and LinkedIn and TikTok and Instagram. So spinoff content from a single longer form piece of content would be listed here as spinoffs. And in each of these pages for those spinoffs, they were linked to this source piece of long form content as the parent content. So those relationships would be established and that connection is there. So we can always see what various short form pieces came from or what various long form pieces created is in terms of short form collateral. Uh, publish date, next action date. Uh, we, sometimes we do research on trend level and search demand. Search demand might help identify topics that people are interested in. Trend levels, what topics are trending, that kind of thing. These days I have a game plan that's not really connected to that, but sometimes we look into that and then we post the URL. And then we do some properties down here that are focused on researching how well it performed after the video was posted. Coming down, this is the basic template for YouTube videos. We'll outline it and or draft it. Usually I'll just outline it these days. Occasionally I'll actually draft a script. Then we'll have, as I prepare it, any links that'll be relevant that I'll wanna post underneath. We'll add to this area here. We'll develop ahead of time some ideas for titles and keywords and descriptions and ultimately refine it here. And then that'll make its way over to the YouTube posting. Thumbnail and cover development. Go a quick link to YouTube. Over here on the right, we sometimes either I'm researching something or team members or assistants will be researching something and they'll add it in this research vault, which is an actual database, and it'll be linked to this piece of content. So it'll resurface in context here with all the research that's been developed for this video. And then similarly, any articles or other videos or podcasts or anything, any type of media that we've captured that's relevant to this will be resurfacing in context here. Once it's completed, we'll post the final one here. We'll post the final URL up there. And we've got a checklist here for team members to go through and post on Twitter, LinkedIn, and so forth, and just promote it around town. So that just keeps track of a checklist, basically an SOP of what to do before closing it and moving this to the completed stage of the pipeline process. And then some notes here on how that team member should go through a few steps to complete it. Down here, sometimes we're scheduling and planning things ahead of time. Sometimes we're doing a shot list if we're doing B-roll. We haven't done much of that. I'm not doing any of that right now, but that's something I'd like to get to. So 
down at the bottom of the template. The template is ready for us when we're ready to start shooting B-roll that's custom for each video. So that's that. But again, most of the action is happening in the outline here. So here I'm just sketching out. I'll put a little more detail into the opening comments, but really the action is in this bullet list outline here. I'll sketch out the things I want to make sure I cover. Mainly it's to not miss things because when you're rolling and just riffing off the cuff, it's easy to miss points. So this just makes sure I hit each step along the way. And as I read each bullet point, then I just go into a spontaneous, authentic explanation without reading, but I'm prompted as to what's next and make sure I cover each bullet point as we go. So in this video, we're covering a lot of examples in a Notion demo. So the classic templates and then specific parts of the template I wanna make the demonstration in, and then the next thing, and then the buttons, and then the database property triggers. So it just really guides me through it and just prompts me on the next category. And then I just share my thoughts on that category. When you know your material pretty well, you don't need it all scripted. So it's just keep me on track and to make sure I don't miss anything. So that comes on down with some highlights and notes here. So that just guides me through it and then I deliver the video. So with that, I'll show you a time lapse I took while actually recording and presenting this video that I just prepared right here. And you'll see a little bit about how I work with this material and work at my desk workstation here, creating the video. And then I'll link below to the video itself if you wanna see the outcome of that process. So that's how I made this YouTube video. And that's really how I make all the YouTube videos at my desk, which includes all of the screen share videos. Perhaps in the future, I can share ways that I make other videos that aren't screen desk-based videos. Uh, you've seen a glimpse of that in terms of the gear production, but I can talk more through how I actually craft them and create them because they do vary. And increasingly I'll be getting into mobile productions and a wider range of production for a wider range of formats on this channel and on my life design channel. So if that's of interest, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button and we'll have lots more to come. I'm excited to get into some of the other projects outside of content creation that I have on my plate, such as hiring and planning and mapping expansion for the business. I'm also developing some new products. I'm recording how I develop those as I go. I can't really share the behind the scenes of those until those products are announced and released. But once I announce and release them, I can share the process I went through to create them. So I'm excited about both releasing some of these new offerings and sharing how I went about creating them because that's some of the most interesting stuff that I do and stuff I'm most excited about every day along with creating the public YouTube content and increasingly getting more into shorts and a wider range of formats. So lots more to come.